In this video, I'm going to show you six payment processors for a small business and we'll compare their pros and cons. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of which one is the best option for you. So let's get started. What is payment processing for small businesses? Payment processing is the critical business function of accepting payments from customers for goods and services. Online payment processing involves a customer, a merchant, a payment processor, a payment gateway, the customer's bank or credit card company, and a merchant account. Payment processing Processing should be efficient, secure, affordable, and user-friendly. In order to accept credit card payments, debit card payments, and digital wallet payments, such as Apple Pay and Google Pay, businesses must partner up with a third-party payment processor, which communicates between the parties involved in the transaction. What to consider when choosing a payment processor for small business? The ultimate goal of partnering with a payment processor is to increase profits and customer satisfaction while decreasing administrative burden. To meet these goals, small business owners evaluate transaction fees, pricing structures, ease of use, included features, and quality of customer service. Transaction fees. Although credit card transactions typically carry higher merchant fees than debit and ACH transactions, many small businesses accept credit card payments because they are popular with customers. Credit card payments are so popular, payment processors are often referred to as credit card processors, even though most credit card processing companies also process ACH and debit card transactions. If your business accepts credit cards, pay special attention to credit card transaction fees and other variables. For example, many credit card payment processing companies charge higher fees for online credit card payments than for in-person transactions. If your business accepts a high volume of online credit card payments, look for a payment processing for small business plan that offers lower rates for these types of transactions. Pricing structure. Different payment processors offer different pricing structures and the most cost-effective model depends on average transaction volume, average transaction amount, and the payment method accepted. Common credit card payment processing pricing structures include flat rate pricing and interchange plus pricing. Flat rate pricing structures charge merchants the same percentage rates calculated as a percentage of total transaction costs, regardless of card type used, while interchange plus pricing structures vary costs based on card type. Some credit card payment processors also offer subscription models, waiving certain per transaction fees in exchange for a monthly membership charge. For businesses that process a high volume of transactions, membership plans can offer a cost-effective way to lower per transaction rates. Good customer service. Payment solutions should be easy to use for both you and your customers. They should also be reliable. If your credit card processor malfunctions, your customers will be unable to make purchases, which can damage customer relationship and grind revenue generation to a halt. Many payment processors offer 24-7 support via phone or chat, making it easy to seek help if you have a question or encounter problems. Choosing a credit card processing company with strong merchant support can help resolve issues quickly and make sure that you're able to reliably accept payments from clients. Simplicity. Card processing is complex and many credit card processors offer additional services and add-ons that may or may not be beneficial to your business. For example, providers might offer both online and in-store payment options point-of-sale systems including payment gateways and physical or virtual terminals, integrated merchant accounts to help streamline payment processing and business accounting, and specialty software for sales analytics or inventory management. To maximize efficiency and minimize costs, look for a plan that offers the services you need, not the ones you don't. Choosing the simplest payment solution possible ensures that your processing fees aren't subsidizing services that benefit your competitors instead of you. Six popular payment processing companies for small businesses. Many popular credit card processing companies will provide payment processing for small businesses. Understanding their features, pros and cons can help in choosing the best payment solution for your business. Number one, Clover. Launched in 2012, Clover is a cloud-based POS system and merchant service provider that offers in-store and online payment processing technology. Clover uses a flat rate pricing structure. For in-person payments, rates range from 2.3 to 2.6% plus 10 cents per transaction, while online rates come in at 3.5% plus 10 cents per transaction. Features. Clover offers much more than debit and credit card processing. Additional services include mobile device payments, wireless processing, POS system, virtual terminals, analytics and reporting, integrated merchant accounts, 
and an expansive app marketplace. Pros. Clover offers many features. If you're looking for a payment processor that can support inventory management and employee scheduling, manage customer relationship with an integrated CRM, and provide advanced analytics to merchants, then Clover might be the partner for you. Cons. Cost is a key concern in payment processing for small businesses, and Clover isn't cheap. Monthly software subscription fees run up to $69.95, which is higher than the charge by many competitors. And POS hardware can be prohibitively expensive for small business owners, ranging from $49 to $1.6,000. Number two, Square. Square is an inexpensive payment solution that operates on a flat rate pricing structure and charges no monthly subscription fee. Square's fees come at 2.6% plus 10 cents for in-person transactions and 2.9% plus 30 cents per online transaction. Features. Squares offers a variety of features designed for small businesses. They include POS systems, free invoicing functions, a free mobile device and card reader, API integrations, analytics, retail and restaurant specific software solutions. Pros. Price is a major selling point for devotees of the Square payment system. Square imposes no early termination, activation, refund, or chargeback fee and charges no monthly subscription or PCI compliance fees, which are additional charges for compliance with payment transaction security standards called the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards, also known as PCI, DSS, or PCI. It also comes with free POS software and a free mobile device card reader. Cones. Square doesn't work with high risk merchants. Merchants declared by a credit card company to be at particular risk of fraud or of experiencing a high volume of returns. Some payment processors charge increased fees to high risk merchants, while others like Square don't work with them at all. Square also only offers 24 seven customer support for its paid plan options. Number three, Stacks. Stacks is a membership style merchant account provider that charges businesses a monthly subscription fee ranging from $99 to $199, interchange fees, plus a per transaction fee that ranges from eight cents to 15 cents per transaction. Features. Stacks offers a range of merchant services, including 24 seven customer service, POS systems, physical credit card terminals, a free virtual terminal, payment gateways, same day funding options, PCI compliance, and integrated merchant accounts. Pros. Stax offers round the clock customer service and same day deposit options. It also includes PCI compliance features. Because Stax interchange plus pricing structure doesn't include an additional percentage based processing fee, it can be a cost effective option for businesses that process a high volume of transactions. Stax also doesn't require any contract commitments. Cons. Stax requires a flat rate monthly subscription of $99 to $199. This makes it a poor choice for businesses that process a low volume of monthly transactions. Stax also doesn't work with high risk merchants. Number four, Stripe. Stripe is a credit card processing company that uses a flat rate pricing structure, charging 2.9% plus 5 cents for online payments and 2.5% plus 30 cents for in-person transactions. Features. Stripe's features are tailored to both retail and e-commerce companies. Highlights include virtual terminal, physical terminal, large library of platforms and extensions, accepts international payments in over 135 currencies, 24 seven customer service, integrated billing and invoicing. Pros. Stripe charges no monthly subscription fees, no setup fees, and offers 24 seven customer service. It also accepts payments in 135 different currencies and currently offers a variety of extensions, including for sales analytics, inventory management, customer management, and tax calculation tools. The Stripe platform also includes invoicing and billing functions. Cons. Like Square, Stripe doesn't work with high-risk merchants. Stripe's application programming interface also requires a greater degree of software development skill than many of its competitor platforms. Number five, Payment Depot. This membership-based merchant account provider charges interchange fees plus a per-transaction fee that ranges from seven cents to 15 cents per transaction. Features. Payment Depot is a merchant service provider with numerous features. Free virtual terminal, physical card terminals, 24 seven customer service, PCI compliance, payment gateway, integrated merchant accounts. Pros. Payment Depot offers a 90 day risk-free trial and charges no cancellation fees to merchants. It also offers PCI compliance and 24 seven customer service. Unlike other payment processors that use an interchange plus pricing structure, Payment Depot doesn't charge more for online transaction than it does for in-person transactions. Instead, Payment Depot determines transaction costs by plan type. 
For example, its $79 per month plan charges interchange fees plus 15 cents per transaction, while its $199 per month plan charges interchange fees plus 7 cents per transaction. Cons Payment Depot doesn't work with high-risk merchants, and membership-based pricing makes it a poor choice for businesses with lower monthly credit card income. Less expensive plans also include a maximum monthly transaction limit. Number 6. Helsum. Helsum is a merchant account provider that charges interchange fees plus 0.3% of total transaction cost and $0.08 cents per transaction for in-person payments and interchange fees, and 0.05% of total transaction cost plus $0.25 cents for key transactions. Features As a full-service merchant account provider, Helsum includes a wide range of payment processing features. PCI compliance, no monthly fees, integrated merchant accounts, virtual terminal, POS system, and mobile device processing. Pros Helsum charges no monthly subscription fees, setup fees, PCI compliance fees or cancellation fees. It also offers discounts for businesses that process more than $25,000 a month in transactions. Cons Helsum doesn't work with high-risk merchants or offer 24-7 support. Volume discounts also make Helsum a better choice for high-volume businesses than for low-volume ones. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.